hold on a second hold on hi my loving tiffany thanks family how are you all happy sunday um basically i have been working a lot a lot and i've also been writing a lot of essays you all know that i'm doing the life coaching course right and i gave myself a lot of deadlines and i thought where i'm working so basically on my days off i've just been doing a lot of essays and trying to get through that and i finally submitted the last essay so if i pass that i've completed the life coaching course can you believe it i've done it and i'm just hoping it it's a pass and yeah i can't believe it's over i'm just waiting on a grade and then it's all completed i can't i feel like time has gone so quickly but at the same time i have put in a lot of time studying and researching and doing harvard referencing and things that i thought i wouldn't have to do because at university when we did our dissertation we would have to do a lot of harvard referencing and i thought once i'd finish uni i would never have to do it again right i actually don't have tea in here i've got squash mixed with water in here i'm thinking should i bring back tea with tiffany thinks do you remember those videos have you been part of my youtube channel like since then or what do you think should i bring it back just on days where i have nothing to show you or if i've had a long day at work i could do a little chit chat tea with tiffany thinks kind of video because whoopsie my battery um died so this is a new battery um i wasn't planning on doing this i was actually not going to have a video out on sunday and i thought you know what you will all understand but i just thought let me just have a little chit chat tea with tiffany thinks kind of video um out for you and if you like these kind of videos then i can do more because I do miss it because this is the time where I really get to talk to you, really get to open up, answer your questions that you've had for me. I asked you guys in December when I was doing Vlogmas, I asked you guys on Instagram and on that YouTube video to ask me any questions you like and I got a lot of questions and I didn't get to go through all of them because it was Christmas time and I think I did kind of a few questions on one of the videos and then I was meant to do more and then life just happened so I thought I could have some days where I'm in a chatty mood I could sit down answer some of your questions tell you how I am in that week or I won't do tea with Tiffany thinks on a Tuesday every Tuesday but maybe some Tuesdays I can just do a talking kind of video because it is nice and I feel very open when i get to talk to you and answer your questions i feel as if i open up a lot more and some of you like those kind of videos some of you don't and i know with my youtube videos not everyone is going to get it and not everyone likes everything i put out so for those of you that enjoy the sit down chit chat kind of vibe i thought i could do videos like this <laughs> i'm not having any caffeine so this is just kind of water mixed with squash only because you all know with the whole anxiety anxiety kind of thing especially in the evenings i've finished work and i've got work tomorrow so i just thought instead of having a cup of tea this evening i'm just having some water with squash because i'm trying to stop having caffeine after a certain time i could have made myself a peppermint tea i should have done that but instead i'm getting this so get a drink and let's have a little chit chat um right studying i got a lot of questions about studying and how i knew i wanted to be an optometrist and right so in regards to that let me do it let me try and answer as many as possible so that we can get through this and sometimes i talk so much and i don't answer enough so let's do this quite quickly in regards to studying i i've kind of went to school high school university and then straight into work but i think that's because i always knew i wanted to be an optometrist i did work experience at a young age and i just knew that's what i wanted to do i didn't 
I worked in a care, I did work experience in a care home as well and I did it in a few places just to kind of check what would work for me and as soon as I went and worked at an optician's I just knew straight away that's what I want to do at a young age I kind of figured out what I wanted to do and I know that not everyone not everyone decides straight away and that's okay too I just wanted to say sometimes you might not know what you want to do in life and that's okay you can take a little break so rather than picking a course that you want to do at university take a little break do work experience travel around and find yourself and find what you want to really do you don't want to commit yourself to university and pay all those student fees because they're so expensive now when i was doing it it wasn't that bad whereas now i have cousins at university and they tell me how much it is and i'm thinking that is a lot of money so really kind of think about what you want to do or let's say you've started your course and halfway through or year down you think you know what this isn't for me swap over and do another course the reason why i'm saying that is because you don't want to do a whole degree and then come out of it and think oh i don't want to do anything with this i don't want to work in this field it's just yeah so kind of everyone's situation is different so that's my kind of advice to you if you're unsure don't settle because the job that you get is the kind of one that you're going to do until you retire, right? So it is important that you enjoy it. And also, even if you do a degree and you get into your job and then you decide, you know what, this isn't for me, it doesn't matter, find another degree or do something else and it's not too late. You don't want to do a job that you don't enjoy because most of your life is kind of at work. So it is really difficult because we have to kind of decide at 16, I guess, here in the UK, because then you do A-levels and then you go to university. So it is really, you are really young. So I do feel some people know exactly what they want to do at a young age and some people find out a lot later. So don't worry, if you're stuck in a little bit of a rut, don't worry about it, you will find your way. And sometimes you have to kind of go through things, whether it's go through different types of courses, different work places, and you'll find your place in the world, I guess. And you just need to be happy with whatever you're doing. Just make sure you're happy to wake up and go to work and enjoy what you do. And I think for me also with everything that's gone on, I think if I wasn't happy being an optometrist, I wouldn't go in, I would find another job or I would try and get experience somewhere else because what I've realised is life is hectic and life changes very quickly and you want to be able to look back and think, you know what, I have really enjoyed my life and I have really done things that make me super happy and also i know with my youtube channel i always say life is hectic and life is so unpredictable that doesn't happen to anyone i mean everyone it doesn't happen to everyone doesn't mean tomorrow you're going to get this or tomorrow that's going to happen to you so you live your life the way you want to live it and don't worry about anyone else you just need to be happy Oh my goodness, I talk and talk and talk and this is why my videos, I don't answer enough questions because I can go on. On one question, I've just spent a lot of minutes. <laughs> what are the dreams you want to achieve? For me, I just want, I pray to God that I, I just want to be healthy and I think that's my dream is just to be happy and healthy and forever just be in this state. I'm so content and so happy with where I am in my life. Dreams, of course I have dreams. Um, that's just normal human nature to kind of wish for things. But my main dream for the rest of my life is to be healthy and just to be cancer free. I don't want any cancer in my body. That's the honest truth. I would love a life where my cancer journey is over, you know? I don't want to 
have to go to hospital. I don't want to have scans again. I don't want to, I just want to live a life where I don't have to go into the hospital again. But I know that's not realistic because I need to have scans. I need to have follow up appointments. And I'm so appreciative and so grateful that I'm in a position where I get appointments and I get scans regularly and I'm in the best hospital, best care. Um, but I just don't, I just wish it was part of my past and I never have to deal with it again. And I know there's nothing I can do. If it's going to happen, it will happen and it's out of my control, but I would love to have a cancer-free life where they never find any cancer cells ever again. And not just for me, for the whole world. Imagine cancer was not a thing anymore. Oh, that would be amazing. I was thinking about this and I think, hold on. Imagine they find a cure and no one has to deal with cancer. That would be, oh, right, that's my dream. That's my absolute dream. Right, scans, I'll just talk about this a bit because I get questions about my scans. So in March, I get scans and my results a couple of weeks later. So it's all been booked in. In a couple of days, I am going to the GP because I'm getting a vitamin injection, but that's not a big deal. So at least that's at the GP and I'm not having to see a doctor or anything. I think the nurse does that. But I am also being referred to the gynecology team for the hormone replacement, so the HRT discussion, because I do think that's the way I need to that's my next step because I am all over the place when it comes to my anxiety. I do need to get some sort of help with that, but I need to speak to my doctors about it and see if they can refer me because it's night time that I feel super, super, super anxious. And honestly, I feel so bad for Matt because I will wake him up and I'll say, darling, I'm really anxious, you know? And I think it will be good for me to get the help that I need so I think I need to figure that out and sort that out as well because I am going to have scans for a very long time and I don't want to deal with this anxiety this like I put a lot of pressure on myself and I've realized that I do need to talk to someone about all of this because you know, I'm doing the life coaching course and there's so much that I'm learning about talking and getting the help. And it's made me realize that I do need that. I've gone on for way too long without getting the help. And I think for me, I was in a lot of denial. I didn't want to face up to what was going on and what was happening. And I didn't want to accept it. Let's be honest, I was living in a fairy tale land and I was really, really, I've, I persuaded myself that after my main surgery, you know, in December, where I had the pelvic accentuation surgery, if you've been part of my cancer journey, then you'll know. After that, I really told myself that I was cancer free. I made sure everyone knew I was cancer free because I kept telling myself, right, that's it, you've gone through everything now, you've gone through chemotherapy, you've gone through radiotherapy, you've gone through the main surgery, that's it, they've removed the cancer and you're, you're getting your life back. And I kind of did get my life back, didn't I? I went on holidays, I went back to work, I was volunteering, I was, I fully believed I was cancer free. And then it hit me when I got the phone call when the whole, you know, the lung liver issue was going on. And it really hit me because I thought, what? How could that happen? I thought I was cancer free. I thought after the surgery, that's it. I, I will never have to deal with it again. And I think that's when I realized that I was living in a fairy tale world and I was blocking things out and I was in denial and I was 
telling everyone around me, oh, don't worry about me, don't worry about me, I'm fine now, I'm fine now, trying to make everyone else feel good about it as well. And then when the lung thing happened, well, initially it was the lung and the liver, I honestly thought that was it. I genuinely thought, it's over, it's too late, it's over, it's now gone everywhere. And even if I didn't tell you or my family or my friends, I knew, well, in my head I said, right, it's too late now it's all too late and then we got the results about the liver and i think that's why i'm anxious because i want to make sure that my liver is okay i'm always thinking about it and i'm thinking right when i get the set of scans in march i need to just remember that anything could happen and i can't live in a fairy tale land i can't do that anymore to myself so maybe that's why i've been really I have been really living every moment because life is so unpredictable for me and I have honestly ever since the lung surgery again it's another lesson it's every moment of life is precious and I have really experienced that and I am so different I can't even explain to you I don't allow I'm in a state of peace that I can't explain. I feel if you've gone through what I've gone through, I think you'll understand you might be able to relate. Every other aspect of my life I'm at peace with and I'm content with. It's only when I think about scans, results, pl plans, that's when I think, oh my goodness, anything can happen. And that's when I work myself up but everything else in my life I don't take seriously at all, whether it's what I'm wearing or what I look like or, you know, none of that matters because for me, my health is number one. Sorry, I just realized that anything can happen and talking about it openly and getting the help that I need is very important and it just, allows me to talk to someone who is qualified and will understand where my thoughts are. I do talk to you all so much. I open up a lot, a lot, but there's times where I will open up and just say things to make myself feel better. For example, you know, when I was saying I'm cancer free, I was really trying to make myself believe that and that was that was not a good way that's not what I should have been doing and I think that's why there's always a certain amount of time you need to wait is it five years you need to be cancer free or have scans that are free of cancer for five years I think it's five years and then that's when you are actually cancer free so I just pray to God you know that's all I can do I need to trust trust the process and I do feel as if 2024 is a good year for me I'm just I really believe that there's something in me that's telling me that this is going to be a good year and and I don't feel it's just for me I feel like for everyone the world there's so much that's going on in the world and I genuinely believe that this year is going to be a year for all of us and I do believe that so right let's see what's next I am waiting on my desktop to arrive so I'm gonna put it right here I talked about this in my last video and I said I want this area to be the area that I sit on my computer this is going to be the this is the study so this is where my desktop is going to go and I'm still going to keep my laptop because there's days where I like to go to the coffee shop or go to my sister's house and so I'll still keep this laptop with me uh, but I won't use it when I'm here at home because I'm going to I'm going to be better at making sure I stay in one place and I feel with the life coaching course and also with optometry, we have to do something called CPD points where you have to collect a certain amount of points. 
um, and if you don't then you're not allowed to practice as an optometrist so I am constantly on this laptop if I'm not at work I am doing too much on here and I want to spend more time with Matt because that means so much to me having time with him especially after he comes back from work I want to give him 100% of attention because that's what makes me happy so if it means that I give myself a plan for the day especially on the days that Matt's at work and I'll stay here and do that and then on the t when he gets back from work so if it's about five o'clock that's when I shut off as well otherwise I can stay on my laptop till eight o'clock in the evening and that's not very good so now that I've handed in my last essay I'm thinking I can I can be a little bit better with my time and with how much screen time I'm doing. I'm gonna put the laptop away now because I feel as if my eyes are super dry. I have, I woke up quite early today because I didn't wanna be late for work and I wanted to sort out lunch bits and bobs and I wanted to get in a bit early because I needed to do some things on the computer at work. I'm trying not to do a lot of screen work, especially on the days where I have work because I'm doing a lot of computer. At work, I've got my computer screen and then I've got a little screen here which controls the machines. And so when I come back from work, I just want to kind of shut off from doing anything. I just want to have a super zen evening. I was going to do a, a low intensity workout today, but I'm thinking I'll do it tomorrow and give myself a complete break this evening. I have really been enjoying doing little workouts, little walks, little... I really, really have noticed whenever I feel a bit anxious, if I just leave the house and go for a walk or just do a little workout, I instantly feel loads better. But that's during the day. In the evening, oh my goodness, it's constant it's constant but i know it's going to get better i have a feeling once march once the scan is done and everything comes back clear in march i'm thinking i'm gonna feel like okay finally you know i can breathe and not have to think about it i don't know if my scans are clear this time round. i don't know if they're gonna do another set in three months or another set in six months. I guess I'll find out when I have the appointment with the doctors. I would like regular scans, but in the same breath, I'd rather it be far in six months, like far, far away, because then I don't really have to think about it, but the doctors know best, so I'm just gonna allow them to tell me. I'm gonna go, I'm sorry, I feel like I didn't answer many questions. I wanted to, but I just go on and on and on, and I feel good, I feel good opening up and talking. If there's anything you want me to talk about, or if you have any kind of questions for me that you think might be helpful for the Tiffany Thinks family, please let me know. I will try and do these a little bit more. If you like the idea of Tea with Tiffany Thinks on a Tuesday, maybe I can bring that back. Maybe I won't do every Tuesday, maybe every other Tuesday. Maybe, it just depends on how many of you actually like these kind of videos. I think I started it off because I thought it's kind of like a podcast kind of style. So if you're cleaning or if you're going for a walk, you can kind of listen and you're not on your own or if you're in bed, you know, I just, I think that's why I kind of started it because it's a, it's one of those videos that you don't have to sit and watch, you just need to listen. Let me know. Anyways, I will see you on Thursday because I'm going to get this video out on Sunday, which I'm so happy about because initially I thought, right, I'll skip a day and explain to you on Instagram that I haven't got a video but so I'm really really happy that the, at least I get to talk to you and um, my next video will be out on Thursday now I love you a lot a lot a lot if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and join my loving Tiffany Thinks family my Instagram Facebook and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks I will see you on Thursday now I love you a lot a lot a lot sorry about the lighting as well I've just put the lamp on I've got the main light on because it's really dark outside um and yeah
I know, I know you won't mind. All right, bye.